Hello guys and today I will be making ammonia. So for this process you need an ammonium salt but today I will be using ammonium sulfate since it's readily available in fertilizers. So you need for this process you need a funnel that you can adjust the floor of. You need a flask, a vacuum flask, and you need a measuring cylinder and a beaker to weigh out the sodium hydroxide. So first, get a rough amount of water and take some sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is corrosive and toxic, so be careful when using it. Another rough amount of sodium hydroxide. The solution will heat up, which will actually favor the reaction of ammonia. So, once you got the solution ready, take some ammonium sulfate and put it into the flask. Okay, please uh, lead back on the separatory funnel or addition funnel. Now make sure it's closed fully. Now get the sodium hydroxide solution and carefully pour it into the separatory funnel. Okay. Take the tube and put it into the so, uh, some water this is preferably have to be distilled water and now put it in on the top as you can see Ammonia has begun to generate. Be sure to do this outdoors because the uh, ammonia can um, be poisonous in high concentration. Okay, the generation is getting a bit slower. Heating the flask will also cause some ammonia to form. Once the addition is done, remove the flask and replace it with a stopper. And then you'll have something like this. Next, you'll need to heat the solution. As you can see, the ammonia started back generating. Continue heating the solution until the bubbling subsides. solution is also brown because of the impurities in the ammonium sulfate from the fertilizer. And here is your pure ammonia. It is around 20% and it fumes heavily as you 
I can see the fume and it's heavy smells of ammonia. Okay, so that's your concentrated ammonia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.